I got my boyfriend, Stan, the candy man in the kitchen with me today. I'm a happy chick. Stan is the owner of Savannah Candy Kitchens, and he's going to help me to make your chocolate dreams come true today. First up, for all you sweet tooth lovers, is our chocolate explosion cheesecake. Doesn't that look delicious? Look at this, y'all. And then Stan makes one of his favorites, a chocolate almond brickle. Brown okay. sugar and butter. I don't see that could be anything but good. And to round off this chocolate fairy tale today, a new friend stops by to help me with a hazelnut filling for our fabulous chocolate cream puffs. You know, there's always room for chocolate. <laughs> Stan is the man here in town. He is a dear, dear friend and I love him to death. He owns Savannah Candy Kitchens here in town. So for all you chocolate lovers, this show is for you. We are gonna make a chocolate explosion cheesecake today, y'all. And it's gonna take the entire show for us to put this cheesecake together, Stan, cause there's a dadgum many layers to it. I don't care if it takes all day. Because if we eat some at the end. Stan is chopping some almonds, y'all. He's getting ready to make chocolate almond, almond brickle. brickle. Not brittle, brickle. Brickle. What's the difference between brickle I, and brittle? I really brittle? believe it's a lot softer. I didn't realize the difference between brickle and brittle, y'all. But I'm going to start putting our cheesecake together. Now, I have dropped in six tablespoons of butter to my double boiler here. I'm going to add two eggs, six ounces of chocolate, a half a cup of sugar, two tablespoons of flour. And we're just going to just cook this on top of the, the stove over the boiling water just till the chocolate melts, y'all. Then we're going to put it on our graham cracker crust. And you can go on foodnetwork.com if you need the recipe for the graham cracker crust. Look at that butter That's popping up. Butter makes it better immediately. Yes, immediately. All right, so this is looking good. All right, if you'll pass me that crust, I think everything is melted in here. I'm gonna turn this uh, off, and I'm just gonna pour this in to you want our me to crust. Do that? No, you you got mini nuts to chop, okay. so <laughs> I'm just gonna pour this in here. We're gonna put this in a 300 degree oven, y'all, and we're gonna bake it for 15 minutes. And then we're gonna pull it out, and we're gonna put another layer on top of this layer. This is truly just the beginning. And I'm just gonna spread that out. Okay. We're gonna have a caramel layer and another chocolate layer. All right, so in the oven this goes, 15 minutes, 300 degrees, Stan. All right, Stan, let's get started on your chocolate almond brickle. So I'm gonna move this pot, Stan, and we can move your brickle pot up and you tell me what to do. What we want to do first, we want to add two sticks of butter. That right there. See, I knew I loved staying. Put it on medium heat. <laughs> okay. We're going to get that melted. We need a cup and a half brown sugar. And we want to cook this to about 280 degrees, but we want to stir it the entire time, but not over stir it. Okay. Because if you over stir it, it'll give it too much air in it, and we don't want that either. We want it to be firm, but not brittly. And there's a difference between brickle and brittle, isn't it? Yes, and I really believe it's the temperature. Brittle is cooked to 300 to 310, brickle uh -huh. is around 280. Okay, uh, Stan. There's I, nothing I, more important than a thermometer. Candy making, bacon, it's all a formula. I don't really think you can take a chance on that in candy making yeah. and bacon. It will, a degree will really make a huge difference. Yeah. Now while, we, while I'm doing this, Paula, uh -huh. you would you start, start? Let, me, let me get these. Yeah. These almonds on the tray. Okay. If I drop these on the floor, that's gonna be bad. Well, we'll just pick our nuts up off the floor and keep <laughs> getting it. <laughs> it wouldn't be the first time. I have dropped this on the Stand. floor before. You see that, how that looks uh -huh. almost like the praline? It sure does. What's that thermometer now? I don't know, I'm gonna have to turn it around here to me. All right, it's almost up to 270. I would say Wait. it's at 266. You sure that? Mm-hmm, I'm All positive. Right now. So you ready to take off, it out? Yeah. Okay. Because if yes. it gets over that, it will get too hard for you. Okay. 
So you're just gonna pour that. For okay. the nuts, okay. Oh my gosh, that looks now so good. Now we'll spread it evenly. Okay. And let it sit for about five minutes. Then we can add, add our chocolate, our morsels. Okay. And we're using milk chocolate today. You want me to just sprinkle this yeah. on evenly? Yeah. This has got to melt, so right. we got to put it on there. this is a chocolate show. We'll make sure you're not short on that. Yeah. And you can change this. You could do cup and a half, cup and a quarter. Yeah. I might even like two cups if I, but you know, okay. you can go with what you like. You can make the thickness. I got about two cups here, Stan. Well, I don't think that hurts. Rules and recipes are made to be broken. Well, they're made to fit your taste buds. Yes. If you like a little more chocolate, what's that gonna hurt? Look, I'm just gonna kinda bang that in there. But we still gotta get the thickness like we want it. Oh, okay. The taste is not gonna change, but we want it to look pretty too, Paul. Oh, okay. Look at this. See there? And we put those chocolate chips on it, y'all, while that, that brickle was still hot. That's so it's correct. melting. Oh my gosh, it looks delicious. All right, we're gonna put this in the refrigerator for 20 minutes. I better do that. Okay, while you're doing that, I'm gonna wash my hands. Y'all go to your kitchen, get you a cup of coffee, and come back, sit down, put your feet up, because we've got the chocolate doctor here with us today, Stan the Candyman. Coming up next, it's time we sink our teeth into Stan's brickle. And then it's on to the next few layers of our cheesecake. I tell you what, I'm in heaven. And then later, we get started on our chocolate cream puffs. I so hope y'all are enjoying the show. And if you do, be sure to click like, subscribe, and the notification bell so you'll never miss a video. And we'll be right back after the break. Y'all, if you're needing a chocolate fix today, you're on the right channel because I've got Stan the Candy Man here in the kitchen with me today. And it's all about chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. Now, we just made Stan's chocolate almond brickle. Look at this. Today, Stan and I are saying there's always room for chocolate. Yeah, and this is going to be fine, too. See oh, that texture I was talking I about? I see it. I see it. Want a piece? <laughs> Look at that. Can we? Yeah. Heck yeah. I think we got the right amount of chocolate. <laughs> for sure. Mm, 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 Brown sugar mm. and butter. I don't see that could be anything but good. Oh, my God, Stan. This might be the best stuff I've ever tasted <laughs> you that you've made. Uh-huh. Well, I may name it after you then. Okay. <laughs> Stan, you're going to have to move that stuff. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to be able to move on. All right, I'll move it and we'll get your stuff going. Stan, I could kiss you right on the lips. <laughs> I like that it. That is some good stuff. Uh, good don't stuff. sweat it, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's grab that first chocolate layer over there. Now we're just going to move into the next few layers of our cheesecake. I've got a one pound roll of cookie dough. And what we're going to do now, I've got some caramel, just a caramel sundae sauce. So what I need for you to do, Stan, is on top of that chocolate layer, just drizzle about a half a cup of caramel on it. And while you're doing that, I'm gonna be slicing this cookie dough into almost between a quarter and a half an inch thick. So now I'm gonna start laying these slices of raw cookie dough. Now right on there, we're just gonna cover that. We're gonna use the whole pound. So how does that look to That's you, That's very good. All right. What's next? Well, if you'd hold the mixer, that would be great. And we're gonna cream together two eight ounce packages of cream cheese, y'all, that we brought to room temperature. And if you'll be creaming that, Stan. I got three eggs. I'm gonna crack those. These eggs came from my chicken coop. You tell them what? I am Did not you really? them. And do I love my chickens? Oh, they look pretty. They give me all kind of eggs. I tell you what, I'll take this over if you'll measure me three quarters of a cup of sugar. sugar. So if you'll just put three of those in here. Every time I see you in that mixer, I worry about that thing on. You talking about Oprah when <laughs> I just dropped the whole about. glass dish in the mixer? Yeah. <laughs> I'm scared of you. <laughs> 
<laughs> I was visiting with Oprah and I was making something that I could have used a mixer for. Uh, and I said, Oprah, I noticed that I don't have a mixer up here. And she said, yes, Paula, for good reason. <laughs> I'm dangerous. <laughs> What's that, All right, one tablespoon of all-purpose flour. Just dump that in. And I'm going to start adding my eggs. And now we're going to put in a half a cup of sour cream, one teaspoon of vanilla, and second egg goes in. You can see that this is just an ordinary cheesecake recipe. And there's my third egg. What's next? Well, next we're going to put our cream cheese Hold layer on. on. Okay. So if you'll help me hold that bowl. Hold the bowl. <laughs> All right, Ness, so how many layers do we have? We've got the chocolate. Well, let me help you with it. Okay, here, I'll I hold the bowl. Uh, we've got the chocolate layer. We've got the caramel layer. And you got cookies. We've got the cookie layer. Now we got the cream cheese layer. Yeah. All right, now smooth that out for me. We are going to put this in the oven back on 300, but we're going to bake it for one hour, y'all. Who so, ever thought of putting cookies inside all this? And Stan, we are ODing on chocolate today. I tell you what, I'm in heaven. Uh, <laughs> guess what we're making, Stan, when we come back? What's that? We're making chocolate cream puffs with a hazelnut filling. Ooh, that sounds good too, Paul. Coming up next, we got another step. It's time for the last layer to this cake, the chocolate ganache. Then Stan needs a little cheering, y'all, to mix up our puffs. Go, <laughs> go, go! <laughs> And later, we have one of Savannah's newest chocolatiers to make us a hazelnut filling for our cream puffs. I hope y'all are enjoying the show, and I want to hear from you. Tell me what recipes or videos you'd like to see me make by just leaving a short comment below. Now, let's get back to the show, y'all. I want you to know... Our time is almost up today, and we're still working on this cheesecake. We got another step. We got to have enough to, time to eat it. I mean, I, I know. can you hurry? We have made a wonderful ganache. Just go to foodnetwork.com, get the recipe. Ganache is simple as pie. This has got to sit for eight hours in the refrigerator. Before you can taste it? I don't think so. I bet we taste something before that. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Now, I'm just going to pour this ganache on top of this cheesecake. Boy, that looks good. Doesn't that look delicious? Look at this, y'all. Hmm. This is worth the effort and the weight. That the chocolate. That ganache looks really creamy. Look, 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 look. Now, why would it have to sit eight hours? That don't make any sense to me. You're going to have to have a little patience for this. So that we, just means you have to come back to see me later, darling. Uh, okay, so we're going in the fridge. <laughs> yes. That's a little warm. I know it's warm. That's why it needs eight hours to chill all the way through. I got a blast freezer at work. We could shoot that thing right <laughs> well, through. Well, heck, fire. Take that down there and let's do it. I'm immediate gratification. <laughs> you know, I like immediate gratification myself. Well, this is not going to take that long. It's going to be a chocolate cream puff with a hazelnut filling. I've already got this melted, y'all. It's How just much? a cup of water, a uh, half a cup of butter, and an eighth a teaspoon of salt. So we have to have this to a rolling ball. So it's balling away. What I need for you to do is measure out one cup of flour, and you're gonna have to do it precisely. Ready? I'm ready. And now quickly, two tablespoons of cocoa and a fourth of a teaspoon of cinnamon. And this is gonna get like a softball, like quick. Just enough cinnamon to hint it. Man, that got stiff and I hurt. know, it does. Now, if you'll take over that, I'm gonna cut off the heat so we got no fire going. Now, Stan, I got four eggs. And I'm gonna break these eggs into the bowl and I'm gonna add them one at a time. Man, this is a lot of like work here. <laughs> we couldn't use a, a real, like a... No. Okay. This takes manpower. 
And there's your fourth one. Don't stop beating, honey. Go, Why does this have go, to be done by go, hand? go, go, go. <laughs> See, he just needs a little encouragement. Look at you, Stan. All right, All right that looks that? good. All right, so come on down, and we're going to put this in a piping bag, Stan. We got two bags, one for you, one for me. Still very, very thick. It's about half in each one? Yeah, so you can do some puffs and... No, and I don't I, think I can do that. You think? You don't want to do any puffs? I'll try. Yes, you can. Your little cream puff, you, <laughs> you know you can do it. Man. I These bake up, y'all, hollow inside. Now, we're going to put 12 puffs onto our baking sheet. Now, what we're going to do is going to shake that chocolate down. We're gonna get all the air out of it, and we're gonna puff. Let me try that. You can do it, you can do it. Perfect. See, I told you you could. I can do this. You can puff. They're gonna go in the oven at 375 for about 30 to 33 minutes. Yes. That's pretty big baking time. Okay. Now, when we come back, Stan, Adam Taroni is going to be joining us. He's a fabulous chocolate maker. Oh, this young guy's and he, good. He is good. And he's going to come make this hazelnut filling for us. Oh, good. So I can't don't wait to go anywhere. It. It's chocolate cheese puffs for everybody. Coming up next. Y'all, my new friend Adam is here to help us fill up our cream cheese puffs. And we finally get to dig into our masterpiece. I so hope y'all are enjoying the show. And if you do, be sure to click like, subscribe, and the notification bell so you'll never miss a video. And we'll be right back after the break. I've got two chocolate geniuses here in the kitchen with me right now. This is Adam Taroni. I have met Adam uh, a few months back, and he brought me some chocolates. And I said, great time of day. These, these are good. I just had to introduce him to y'all. Now, he's going to make us a hazelnut filling for our cream puffs. Okay, so what I'm going to need you to do first do is take uh -huh. the chocolate and melt that down for me. Okay. It's a milk chocolate, okay, uh, and, and it's, it's five ounces. Five of milk ounces. Chocolate. Okay. So I'm just going to have you melt that, and we just toasted okay. three cups of hazelnuts. Okay. So I'm just going to grab those. Uh-huh. Now, did you roast those off, Adam? I did, and it's three for cups. For how long? Um, for about five, six minutes. At what temperature now? 375 is good. Just until they're golden or a little darker. Do you put oil on them or anything? I don't. I just pop them right in. Simple Completely and easy. Dry. Even with the skins on. That even creates more of a flavor. Mmm, yum. So, put that Here, back Stan, there. I want you to taste, before he does them up, taste a few of those here. Delicious. So, I'm going to start processing. Now. Is that all melted? It's all melted. Excellent. We're going to need a quarter cup of the powdered sugar to right. this. To your nuts. Right. Okay. How much salt? Just a pinch of salt. Okie doke. So I'm going to need another quarter cup of powdered sugar. I want the sweet. Oh, okay. Do you like it sweet? <laughs> yes, I like it sweet. <laughs> so we're going to add that and then we're going to need that luscious chocolate. Oh, we're going to put this chocolate right, right in. in there. Adam, it's I'll do hot. The, I'll do the heavy lifting. Okay. And this is just going to make it so creamy. So now Adam is just going to incorporate the chocolate, y'all, and get it into the bowl. Look at that. Now this is going to harden up um, once okay. we let it sit out for a little bit, and it's going to start to thicken, and then it will be a good uh, time to add it to our mm -hmm. cream puff. All right, well, let's show everybody how we're going to fill these, Adam. Okay. And you going around here, and, you know, just as another option, because I bet sometimes you do it this way. You gonna pipe them? Yeah, I, I'm just gonna show them how they can pipe them because most of them are cut, but I think you have three whole ones left. How long do you have to wait before you eat these? You could <laughs> pop them right in your mouth. You can eat them right now. <laughs> I could tell you I already like this program. <laughs> Stan, guess what? What? Our cheesecake got cool enough. We're not going to wait. Ooh. Look at here, darling. Adam, 
You have to try this almond brickle. It, it looks it delicious. It is out of this world. And look at our cheesecake. That's the, the biggest cheesecake I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> four, four layers. Oh, that's good, Adam. So what do you think, kids? <laughs> What's the name again? Chocolate Explosion Cheesecake. Okay. <laughs> 24 Dang. hours chocolate explosion. 24 <laughs> Been waiting forever for this. There. Oh, I <laughs> that. And I'm gonna put a little right. chocolate puff well, right honey, there. Well, honey, this is for you. Oh. Hey, you gotta have a piece of this, too, now. Yes. All right, wait. Oh. Wait. You know, this plate just would not be complete without a few fresh strawberries. All right, honey. Thank mm. you, dear. There's your fork. And, um... Where's yours? We need to get you look, a plate. Look, look, look. No, I don't need a plate. Oh, you just take it. <laughs> look, at, look at that plate stain. Try that. Okay. Uh. Good, ain't it? That's really good. It's not overpoweringly sweet. Mm. Now try this. All right. Let me tell you, this is fabulous. This is fabulous. You think we put enough ganache on that cheesecake? <laughs> I think so. It's about an inch thick. y'all it's paula dean now if you enjoyed this video be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when i post a video love and best dishes y'all